when we first got this boat, uh, we always nose and nose to tugboats. We want to see what we can do. And when I was nosing up to the Ted, which was my old boat, uh, we started pushing the stern and the stern started going to water. And another captain told me that I had to stop pushing because he couldn't, he couldn't push against me no more. This boat was a very strong boat. Um, and that Ted was a strong boat, but compared to this, it's not. One time I had to run the boat around to another place on one engine, and I was very comfortable because with the engine that had a PTI motor, I could run uh, either one. I could you know, lose the PTI, I still have the main engine, or lose the main engine, I still got a PTI motor. So it's redundant, it, 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 uh, it's always a backup. And that part I, 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 I do like. This boat here has, it's a sports car on water, very aggressive compared to my old boat. Uh, these are Caterpillar engines, the PTI motors on the background. Uh, they help push the engine along and, and it really makes it very uh, user friendly and very aggressive. I can't explain it. Uh, you'd have to drive it to understand it. Uh, if you want me to compare it to other tugboats, it's probably the most responsive boat I've ever been on. It, 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 just, it just is. It's got a bag of tricks in it. You can do a lot of things with it. Uh, you know, you can go to normal mode if you're just cruising down the river, or you can go to electric mode and you know, you get this little bitty cute little boat and electric motors and you run into a ship and then when you're ready to go, you start this big monster up and, and uh, she's a beast.